It goes without saying that emancipation was a significant event in the United States, especially for the American South. It, it meant in many ways a social revolution. Sarah Gudger uh, was born here in Western North Carolina. And she was a slave in Oak Fort, uh, just east of Asheville, and uh, believed to have been born in the 1830s. Zebulon Vance's grandparents, David and Priscilla Vance, would eventually accumulate up to 18 enslaved individuals. Uh, there may have been more, but we know that in 1811, according to David Vance's will of that year, he owned 18 slaves. And uh, those slaves would have been used in a variety of capacities here on the farm. No, you were not fed well. You were not clothed well. You got clothes once a year. Uh, I've read accounts of slaves where they had no clothes after a certain point. So these, these slaves would have directly contributed to the, the prosperity of the Vances throughout the latter part of the 18th century and into the 19th century and, and during that period when Zebulon Vance was, was born and was growing up as a small child on this farm. Sarah Gudger in 1937, she sat down for a very important interview. But she told her, told her interviewer, we've had to work, uh, we had to work in the field in the ball and sun, she said. I've had a hard life, just work and work. And work. I, I never know nothing but work. And I never know what it was to rest. Sarah said that she re recalled one slave who had told them long ago that freedom would one day come. We're here today uh, with the 13th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States, a document that is held by the State Archives of North Carolina. We're at the Vance birthplace um, because that document relates to slavery and there's a slave cabin here on site and it's one of the places we're visiting all across North Carolina. The document itself uh, is an amendment that ends slavery in the United States uh, of America. With the coming of the war and the ending of the war, emancipation did come. When the war was over, Moss William, he come and say, y'all know y'all free now? You free. I'll see Jesus in the morning. In the morning. When the Yeah.